How's it going, Sha? Going all right. How are you doing? Yeah, uh, here, chilling, trying my best. Uh, I am, uh, I'm, I'm watching my kids, uh, like, become one with their schools. It's been pretty cool. Oh, yeah, 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 new school year. Yeah, yo, they've, uh, they've really, like, kind of hit the ground running, it looks like. Uh, Aiden uh, started a new school. They, uh, they're, the whole school, I think, is all type A kids and the teachers. They're all, like, really, like, on top of everything. Like, oh, no. um, it's an engineering and coding school. Oh. So okay. like everybody's like really like trying to get AIDS. Like mm -hmm. they all about that. And and like the principal sends out an email on Sundays where everything is happening in the school that week. And I wanna say comfortably it's like maybe a 14 page word document. Oh my God. Like, they have a lot happening. It is intense. Um, I felt overwhelmed. I was like, this is a lot. There's a lot happening here. Aiden is in the zone. He is chilling. He is loving this. I think he found his tribe. Oh, great. Real talk. I was like, he's like, yo, this is dope. Uh, he gets to communicate directly with the teachers. He tags us in conversations. Um, he's on their Instagram account. He's like, yeah, I went to an event. And they posted, they got pictures. Like, he's... Uh, this is the most social butterfly I've seen him in a school. Okay. Real talk. And uh, they take the train together, which mm -hmm. I think has been fun now for a few weeks. They're like, they're having their own brother-sister time in the world. Right. They come home, they giggle. I'm like, what happened today? And like, they don't tell me. So I know <laughs> there's shit going on. Yeah, that's great. That's Real all talk. you want. There's nothing like, like asking your kids what's going on and they just go, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. I'm like, I know something crazy happened on this J train, and y'all saw it. Y'all took part in it, and y'all not telling me, and I think that's beautiful. Right. You know. Um. And my daughter equally like in the zone. Um. I think she uh, she trick snuck out on me on Sunday, and I'm kind of impressed with it. She does what? I think she tricked me into like hanging out. Without, oh. Without us, it was kind of gangster. Okay. Like she said, she was going to the library to like do some work. Mm -hmm. And they, she left. She met up with her homegirl. They came back like three hours later, mm -hmm. and then she gets here. And she kind of feel like starts like plugging holes in the story that weren't there initially, but now like rolls along. Right? She, okay. she was like, "Oh, by the way, the library was closed." And oh. I was like, "Y'all ain't checked that before y'all leave." She's like, "Nah." And then it hits me. I'm like, "Yeah, it's Sunday. Of course, the library's freaking closed." You know, so I was like, what do y'all do? She said, we went to the park. I'm like, you could have just gone, like, you ain't doing no work at the park. She's like, yeah, we did work at the park. I'm like, nah, B, y'all was just chilling. She said, yeah, we was just chilling. I'm like, so why didn't you just say y'all went to chill? She said, we didn't go to chill. We went <laughs> to do work, and right. we ended up chilling. Okay. I was like, all right. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm taking this because you're being straight up about it. But it's right. not sound funny. You know <laughs> I, mean? I don't. I don't know if it sounds funny. It, it sounds like someone who's still trying to figure out the best way to lie to you. But yeah. I mean, she'll get there. Don't worry. She yo, and I told her. But I told her, I was like, yo, honey, I'm not going to bust your chops. Like, just do the thing. Just tell me what you did so I know the danger reasons. But I don't think kids can do that. I think kids have to lie once to, like, <laughs> know the I, I think that's cute that you think they only have to do it the once. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, they have to. That's how they learn how to be people in the world is by lying to their parents. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's. That's yeah. gonna and it's gonna be cute at first because you're gonna go, Oh, I can see through these lies. Right? Yeah. But they're getting better. Yeah, and then it's one's gonna come out of nowhere. And you're gonna go, What? Like when you find out <laughs> you've been lying about man. Real talk. Because you know, their brains, they're very much quicker than ours, right? We're like, Oh, yeah, I guess I can lie about that. And they're gonna make that leap very quickly. So mm -hmm. And uh, I know they're, uh, what I did find cool, though, uh, my my kids, along with one of their cousins, are the three oldest of, like, that whole string of nieces and nephews. Right. Right? So they're, like, uh, 16, 15, 14. And then after that, there's a gap to, like, three eight-year-olds. Yeah. And then a gap again to, like, a couple of two-year-olds. Right, 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 right. So the three... Uh, the three teens are in a group chat together. 
Mm-hmm. And one of the eight-year-olds got a phone last week huh? that he could only use in the house because he wanted a phone. So they're like, fine, you have a phone. So he could he could only like talk in the house because he has Wi-Fi. Right. So, but they like included him. They made a group chat, cousins chat, and they included him in it from now. Okay. So like I asked Aiden, I was like, what happened? He's like, he was like, yeah, it was my idea. He's like, I felt like, you know, family gotta be together. Right. So like I'm talking with him. He's like, we gotta, he's like, he's like, honestly, the conversation is really boring because we gotta edit everything we say. Sure. So he's like, we have a separate chat for just the three of us. Mm-hmm. And then we talk a lot about comic books. Right. And he's get he's into that. But he's like, he's part of the crew. Right. And I was like, yo, sincerely, that's beautiful. He's like, yeah. He's like, yo, we're trying to keep him in the circle. He's like, that's very keep. nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Michaela said it's just a bunch of boys talking. So she's like, I'm not really into it, but I'm sure. in. Sure. Yeah. Right. But it's, it's, <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm like, yo, they look at these people. They're being people. That's great. That's fantastic. Um, yeah. Uh, in, uh, there's a one grouping of cousins for me. My sister and I are the youngest mm. um, because my mom was the youngest of seven and then had us a little bit later than her siblings had their kids. Right. So there's like my sister and then me and then there's like, I don't know, like a <laughs> maybe like a 10 or 12 year jump to the next. Whoa. Okay. Because <laughs> they used to like babysit us. Yeah. Or we like kids, like babies, they would babysit us or whatever, toddlers. And um, so there's like a a leap. Um so they they're family members that literally I think when they look at me and my sister, they only see the two youngest ones. Like I think right. they see us holding hands in little dresses <laughs> no matter what. Because I, I feel think- like I was talking to one of them. And they said something, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, yeah. And I said a a thing. And they were just like, what? What are you doing 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 that? And I'm like, I'm an old lady. (laughs) Like, I hate to blow your mind, but here's my age. Now add 12. (laughs) And that's what you are. We're peers now. (laughs) Yeah, I know you want to look at me and think, ah, look at the little one. I am not little. (laughs) <laughs> so that's oh, always funny. So I know what that looks like on the other end. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Shaw, you got so much to look forward to. Okay. <laughs> now I mean after college, the world is your oyster. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you it's like an I'm in menopause, you know? <laughs> <laughs> They're forwarding you like internships and shit. Yes, like, Yo, you right. apply here? Why don't you try doing? And I'm like, I, look, I get that I have acted immature for a very long time, but you know, yeah, I don't nah. know. I don't think they'll. Uh, I I think they even think my think of my sister as older because she at least at one time had a very serious like boyfriend and they lived together. And they were like, oh, okay, well, she's being an adult. What's Shalewa doing again? Oh, she moved to New York to do stand-up comedy? This bitch, when is she going to grow up? And in some ways, never. Never. <laughs> never. Real talk. Never going to grow up, it appears. Hey, yo, real t- yo. I've been thinking about a lot of that stuff lately, I got to tell you. I did a... I, 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 I told you recently, I, I, I did that. I did a, I did a show... I've been doing like a lot of these apartment shows. Okay. I, I did an apartment show recently where um the only person in attendance was like it was definitely more comics than people in the show. Oh, all right. You know, it was like maybe five people. Okay. One of them was a parent with with their like 4-year-old kid. Okay. And I went on a rant just to the kid about life. And Okay. Like, it made me think a lot. I was like, yo, like, I think I stumbled on the key to life while, like, talking to this kid. Real talk. Like, all right. You know, I was I was telling him, like, yo, uh, every adult you talk to is going to give you the wrong advice. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So listen to this weird Dominican dude in your basement right now. Okay? Right. Yes. You know what I mean? I got it figured out. And, like, I think this is it, Shot for real. Mm-hmm. I think when you're a kid, you already got it figured out. I think okay. kids... You just came from whatever it is you believe in, mm-hmm. uh, the the special place, whatever. You mm-hmm. came from that. 
Okay. You know what I mean? You came from there. So you come out, you happy. You mm-hmm. full of joy. As you start getting your abilities, you doing fun shit. You coloring, you playing. Mm-hmm. You watch cartoons. You you give people smiles. They happy. And adults beat that out of you because they need you to function in this space. Right. Yes. Okay. You know what I'm I mean? with you. Absolutely. We right? definitely uh, hammer the, the joy and wonder out of children early because we need them to understand what the hours of work are. Right. Like, yo, this is we, cute, yeah, but it don't work. That's with great. The but, you know, we have we got factory hours. So, you know, here's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wrap up that silly shit. All right. <laughs> all right. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I got to clock in. Right. And that's, so we beat out the joy of being a person mm-hmm. and then you struggle for your whole life trying to refine the joy. Okay. And then at the end of your life, when you're like retired or you're like a grandparent or you're, you're older and you have hobbies, you, you find a pet or you find a grandkid or you get into gardening uh-huh. and you refine the, <laughs> you know, mm. I was going to tell y'all the key to life, but if there was ever a sign, Ooh. That they are listening, okay? Yeah. Everything shut down, people, okay? It stopped recording. Shots computer stopped working. The cameras, the mic said that they were in use in another state. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everything just said abort, okay? He's too close. Yeah, so, yeah. He's figured it out. Real talk. I know the key. Just know that I know it. So if something happens to me, this is me saying help. I got got, okay? Yeah, okay. That's fair. That's fair. All right, but I can't share it because I don't want to put y'all in danger. No, no, no. You don't want you don't want the complete shutdown that we just went through. Nah, be I, I don't want that on my conscience. Real mm-hmm. talk. No, that's uh-uh. fair. But uh know that I know, know that it's beautiful. Okay. Know that I stumbled I'm not claiming genius. I stumbled into it. I want to mm-hmm. say that too. Right. I don't want to say like I, I haven't been working towards this. It just happened. You know, but it was beautiful, okay? It brought a tear to my eye. Okay. Y'all and you'll never know. know. But you'll, you'll never, never know. know. <laughs> Let's get into the news. <laughs> uh, kicking us off. Atlanta-based Home Depot is paying out nearly $2 million for overcharging customers, Shaq. Mm-hmm. That's right. And Atlanta-based Home Depot has settled a civil lawsuit um, in uh, Los Angeles uh, County, California, that alleged they were overcharging customers and had false um, advertising. The company will pay out uh, nearly $2 million to settle the lawsuit. Uh, the uh, lawsuit claimed that Home Depot charged customers more than the lowest advertised uh, or posted price. When customers got to the registers, the items rang up for a higher price than what was on the item. While the mm-hmm. company didn't admit any wrongdoing, they agreed to settle the case. Ah, uh, they did that shit. <laughs> oh, man. They will have to pay $1.7 million in penalties and the additional uh, $277,251 to cover the investigation costs and restitution. Uh, the settlement also requires Home Depot to start a price accuracy program, add more audits and training, and will not allow them to increase prices on weekdays. Wait, what? What does that have to do with... It, hold on. Okay, so are you saying that if I got like a circular with prices that right. had like sale prices, and I went in on a Saturday... It would be what matched the circular. But if I went in on like Wednesday, they would have jacked up the price because it's only good from Saturday to Sunday or some shit like that. Maybe. Yeah. Oh my God. You'd be in funny style over there. Uh well, you know, here's the thing. They I mean, they've got some competition, right? You've got yeah. Lowe's, but even Hard Lowe's up. is, you know, relatively it as far I uh, maybe because I grew up in Atlanta, I've been much more aware of Home Depot than mm. I have been of Lowe's. Lowe's feels very recent to me, right? And by recent, I mean I don't know the past twenty or so years, right? Um, but like, and then of course you've got your True Hardware, your Ace Hardware, your, you, you know those. Oh, I didn't even think the, of those. Yeah. yeah, those are great. I if you can go there, but usually you're having to go to Home Depot, and more often than not, you don't know what you're doing at Home Depot. I mean, look, I already know. I can hear in my head the people saying, "You maybe you don't know what you're doing, but I know what I'm doing at Home Depot. I, you know, they ain't gonna get me, brother. You don't know what you're doing at Home Depot. There, I've seen too many people haunting the aisles 
like <laughs> ghosts, just staring up into space, wondering where their screw is. No one knows. People mm. with empty packages, like, what matches this? <laughs> you know? And then the people that they hire don't know. They know what aisle for you to walk down, but they're like that whole thing of like, if they had an orange apron on, they kind of knew what they were doing. That shit is done. No. <laughs> <laughs> was literally like looking at their nails and they're like aisle three and they're like but i have a, a little more of a question aisle three <laughs> so when you go in there and you don't know what you're doing but you're like home depot has to have it absolutely they can charge you more and you're not going to catch that because your brain is like i hope this is the right thing yeah you focus on other stuff Focusing on that thing that you bought and you're not catching that they've added $2 to whatever because you came in, you know, early morning Tuesday, <laughs> back up Tuesday or some shit. Yeah. Man. And because you would pay that to solve that problem. Right. Exactly. You're they like, know. that. it's not an exorbitant amount. Yeah, sure. I thought it was five ninety five, dollars and it turns out it's eight ninety five. dollars Maybe I was looking at the wrong tag. I don't know what I'm holding anyway. You know what I mean? You <laughs> exactly. Know? You're like, I, I, I guess this is. No, 99% of people at Home Depot did not go to Home Depot first. They <laughs> right. went to Google. They went to other things. Right. Hoping that the solution was something that like, something oh, I could else. take this. Right? Yeah. You but know no, I mean? now you gotta you gotta take a trip. So they're you like, gotta, oh, geez. yeah, and you everyone, lost. Yeah, everyone's coming in with a piece of paper in front of them and a confused look on their face. <laughs> you absolutely can get them for like two to three more dollars yeah. per item. Real talk. You have, oh, nine versus eleven dollars. Yeah, I don't care. I don't got to come here again for a year. Right. Sure. Right. I'll Here's pay the it. money. Real talk. <laughs> what do you need? So shout out to whatever busybody it was that was like, wait a minute, that's not right, and threw all of this in upheaval, and now they got to pay out. Two million dollars. Real talk. That one person that knew what they was doing finally showed yeah. up. You like right? Nah, exactly. Man. No, that's not what I pay. Real talk. That's crazy work. I'm telling yeah. you, you need them. They 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 help. I I've uh I've had this weird theory that uh Home Depot is where uh serial killers go to hang out. Like it's like a social club. Hmm? Because of all the stuff there that they need. Because you could be openly you. Like if you're Jason. <laughs> And you walking around with a freaking hacksaw or some shit. Nobody say nothing at Home Depot. Home Depot, people walk around with the scariest shit I've seen in my life. And nobody bats an eye. And I feel like if you're a, if you're a serial killer, sometimes you want that freedom. Like, yo, just, I don't want to be running with this thing every day, B. Every time I'm out here trying to murder somebody with this chainsaw, I got to be jogging. You know what I mean? Because the cop is coming after me. Home Depot lets you be a killer stress-free. You know I, I mean? hate that you said it lets you be openly you yeah. about killers. <laughs> Yo, real talk, you just walk around, put your favorite Carhartt shirt on, and just like... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I feel like I get it, but I also feel like that's a limiting, a very limited view of murderers. I think murderers, there's a, a plethora of looks. There's a spectrum <laughs> of, how, of how you could look. But yes, you definitely need those tools, for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't know if they're hanging out so much, you know what I, I mean? Okay. Because they are still probably wearing something weird. You know what I mean? Jason <laughs> still has on a hockey mask. That's uh, fair. the guy, whoever it was, uh, and I saw what you did last I summer or whatever. I think that's a guy who's dressed like the Morton's fisherman. I think that <laughs> killer is like in the yellow hat and jacket, yeah, you know, I, he working. Yeah, but that's going to look weird at Home Depot. You know, <laughs> you know, I'll tell you that. I um, There was a time, here's my main Home Depot story. There was a time where home, some Home Depots were 24 hours in Atlanta. And maybe that's because it was Atlanta. I don't know if there were other cities where they did that, um, where you could go to Home Depot in the middle of the night or very early in the morning and get whatever it was you needed. And I, I just want to get back to that. You know what I mean? I just want to get back to being in a place where if you need to go to Home Depot in the middle of the night, because I feel like that's when things break the most, that you could get into your car and go to Home Depot in the middle of the night and they'd be there for you. Yeah, I that's kind of beautiful. That. Yeah, yeah. This uh, The one I'm thinking of also had a Fuddruckers in, 
in there. <laughs> they had a FUD Ruckers in the Home Depot. It wasn't a full on, but it was like, you know how Target will have like a, a Starbucks counter and yeah. all that kind of stuff? It was like that, but it was FUD Ruckers. That's kind of um, beautiful. Yeah, it was. I think they've since replaced it with, I, I, actually, I think maybe they don't even have food in there anymore, but I think they replaced the Fud Ruckers with a Waffle House, which is insane because there was already a Waffle House down the street. And also Waffle Houses are 24 hours, but that Home Depot wasn't anymore. So I was just like, well, that's just <laughs> silly. Um, anywho, I just, I just miss a 24-hour world, and that includes at least one grocery store being 24 hours a Waffle House where you can go inside for 24 hours and a Home Depot that was 24 hours. Because no. please believe me, I heard mice in my house once. A bitch was at Home Depot <laughs> at 3.30 a.m. I got to solve this now. Yeah, like, yeah, where's your rat poison? <laughs> Let me scatter this throughout the house. You know what? I'll take it back. I'll pay you the extra dollar fifty every time. All right? <laughs> yeah, if you're going to stay open 24 stay hours, stay open 24. Take, money, take my money. Real talk. Yeah. <laughs> in other news, uh, survey results are in. Teens don't feel challenged in school and feel unprepared for the future. Hmm. Uh, don't uh, know about your household, but my kids are getting ready to return to school. And new survey finds that many teenagers do not feel challenged in school. Um, NPR's Corey Turner has been looking at the results. Stop. Um, yeah, that's the whole this interview. This is literally a transcript of... Yeah, I guess an interview. That's very funny. But, but uh, let's see but, here. Uh, four in 10 Gen Z students mm -hmm. say that uh, they don't have college plans and they are a lot less optimistic. Oh, uh, shit. Jesus. <laughs> they don't have college plans. Yo. Damn, I at least had a plan. I didn't go through with it, but I did. Yo. Uh, yo. Wow. I mean, I don't want to say good for them, but I also kind of want to say good for them. Yeah. I'm I'm big on, and maybe just that's because it's how I did it. I did one year of college. I call it my gap year um, <laughs> between jobs, I guess. But I also, when I left college, I was just like, I'll go back when I'm ready. Okay. Um, which, I mean, I'm, I haven't been back since. But, <laughs> I mean, like, this is a lot of money, mm -hmm. and right now I don't. I would be wasting everyone's time and money. Right. And I don't want to do that. I want to do when I, I want to go when I have an idea as to what I would be working towards. Because to mm. ask me after 12 years of school, all right, now what do you want another four years of school to learn? And I'm like, I want to go to sleep. <laughs> I want a break is what I Real want. Talk. I want a break. I want to work. I think I can get work. and. And I want to live. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to go to the club. Like, I I want a car. Like, I want to do these things. And then, like, asking me at 17 what I want to continue to learn when I just barely, like, crawled out of high school. <laughs> and then you're like, <laughs> all right, here's another four. And it's on you now. Oh, if it's on me, it ain't happening. <laughs> Let's get this off me right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Let's all put that right aside. <laughs> yeah, I'll pick it up when I'm ready to fit when my back is stronger. But right now, <laughs> but, I, the next I, I I feel confident that I'm going to go back to college one day. Yeah, um, but it's going to be for like an MFA. Like I feel like I'm going to go back when I'm retired to like write a novel or something. Okay, and like I'm like I right, if I'm gonna write this novel, I might as well get a credit. You know, get the get the degree. But you're a college graduate, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you already, I mean, you got the main thing, I think, but what do I know? I literally. <laughs> it, it Sincerely, I don't, I cannot think of a single time that it's ever changed anything for me applying. I mean, like in, in terms of like real world use. Right. But I can say that it's gotten me indoors mm -hmm. that I don't understand why it was different, a difference maker. That's what bothered me about it. Like every time I'm like, okay, I'm glad I got the job. But like me being in college isn't the reason I'm able to do this job. Right. Right. And I've never understood it why. But like every job I've had that was remotely like managerial, mm -hmm. they would ask if I went to college. They always found it impressive. And I'm like, bro, I took pictures for nine of these credits. Right. Real talk. I had a swimming class. Like that's helping me manage people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, what, what are we doing here? 
don't, yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of creative writing in this, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. And 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 you're giving me managerial jobs because of that. I was 19, okay? I was writing about hood shit on and making it into plays. I was trying to be Tyler Perry of East New York. Oh, and wow. y'all are, and I'm y'all are so, telling me this is yeah, wild. I'm so glad that that because man, just that sentence alone kind of <laughs> kind of spooks me a little bit. The Tyler Perry of East New York. There's a whole other like like uh other like line version of this. There's another reality where like there's a bunch of shitty plays being made on on my block right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you can do that now, and you can do that now exactly because I got <laughs> my degree. You know yeah. what I mean? You can do. You absolutely will go, well, I mean, he went to college. So, yeah, I guess I'll let my my kids act in his what seemed to be terrible plays. Oh, yeah. Everybody in my plays had weird names. It was like Life True. Oh, no, Gastor. Real talk. <laughs> That's the most 90s thing I've ever Oh, yeah. I had Life spelled with a Y. Of course you did. Oh yeah. It was great. Fucking... Yo, he was the main character in like three of my plates. Oh, jeez, with your love Jones ass. I can't. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Truth like Jason's lyric. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Them shits was deep, yo. Okay. Uh, sure they were. Yeah, honestly, go back to that. I want you to revisit them. <laughs> Brush off that floppy, because I know it's on a I know it's on a floppy. <laughs> Real talk, yo. That shit is on uh what is it? A word document? Yes. Uh, the a uh, word perfect. I wrote oh, on the Wow, wow. Yeah. yeah. Go on and get you a brother word processor and <laughs> fucking pull that back up. I, I want you to because I now's the time. Real talk. With, now's with, the with, time. Like, with wisdom, go look yeah, back so at with these. wisdom, you can look back and go, holy crap. Real talk. I was trash. I, this is <laughs> terrible. Why did I use these as names? But, <laughs> yeah, man, that is of a time. Oh, uh, man. Uh, <laughs> finally, uh, we got a eight-year-old girl drove to Target alone to shop. Oh, someone after your heart, Sha. Yeah, no, no, I kind of love this little girl. <laughs> Police in Ohio found an eight-year-old girl shopping at Target after she took a car and drove there on, on busy roads. Uh, Sunday morning, Bedford Police took a call f- uh, for a missing child. As they began to investigate, police also took a call concerning a small child driving east on Rockside Road. Officers eventually found the car in the parking lot of a Target store in Bainbridge, Ohio. Police found the child in the store. Although the exact route the girl took was unclear, Google Maps shows the store is more than 10 miles from where she was reported missing Mm. in about a 20 to 25 minute drive. That's right. Mm. The girl was not hurt, but she told officers she struck a mailbox during her travels. Shit (laughs) happens. Don't worry about it. Adults do it too. I mean, yeah. Who's to say? (laughs) Who among (laughs) us? Right? (laughs) Yo, when I got this, I said this to Gabby. I was like, yo, shorty, if if you don't get your license, all right, we got 10 year olds out here doing errands. This girl, she's eight. She stopped for coffee. You understand me? (laughs) She went to Target. She had a time. Yo. She drove to Target, which also, I think this is a quiet little girl. Mm. I don't think this is a boisterous young lady at all. I think this is a quiet little girl, and she probably is in a house with a lot of loud stuff. Yeah. She just sits. When they go places, she sits and she looks out the window. And she mm. memorized how to get the target. And that house got too loud for her. And she was like, fuck this. I'm going to target. <laughs> and she grabbed the keys and no one paid attention because everybody's too busy being loud. And she got in the car and she's like, OK, what have I seen them do? And Real she talk. fucking drove to target and got like, I think she got a drink at Starbucks. Like, <laughs> she, like she did it up. And I wonder, tall. I'm like, I wonder if she is a little tall for her age or if people just saw li- just hair in the, <laughs> in the window. Like, who's driving that car? <laughs> this is beautiful. I don't I know, man. I love, love this story. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Uh, I looked at the map. That shit is brawling. Like, yeah, I turns. mean, that's a, if, if that's the way she went, I mean, shout out to her for avoiding highways. The expressway. Good on her because she's not ready for that. She hit a mailbox. 
But <laughs> I mean, that's a drive. Yeah. Real talk. This is impressive. Real talk, man. I I think I don't think this was the first trip to Target. I think she's done this already. Oh, you think by herself? You think she's by herself. I think she's gone there. I think she's come back. I think is I think I, I agree with everything you said. I think it's a loud house. Mm-hmm. I think she used to ask people, I need this. Yeah, well, you and take me to, and they just forgot about her. They forget about her, they dismiss it, they think she a little kid. Mm-hmm. And she just figured out, all right, listen, if I just grab the wallet, I got right. the cash. Yep. I, I know nobody at Target cares as long as you pay. <laughs> right. I promise you, they just yo, real talk. Yeah, I'm just here working. And they'll honestly, think it's a silly story. But they'll they'll charge everything. Honestly, even if a kid comes in by themselves and they do the stuff, people just assume that there's an adult nearby. Yeah, because who would let who would let a little kid? Okay, I'm what telling you, kid would come by themselves. This one, this one. Oh, real talk. I love this little girl. I think she had. I think she had friends at the Target. I think. Oh yeah, nah, she does that on Saturdays. <laughs> I think people just knew her already. She had departments she goes to. They know what milk she like. You know what I mean? I th- yeah, I mean, yeah, I just really, I just love the idea of her just being like, let me just go here and relax because these folks are stressing me out. Yeah. And then driving, I mean, 11 miles, 25 minutes. That's a, you know. That's a trip. That's a trip. But it's also probably a fairly simple drive, too. Like, not a lot of traffic. Yeah. You know what fair. I mean? The Probably, like, small town kind of just two-way lo- lanes which is probably how she hit a mailbox mm. you know it's just one of those them fucking country roads yo well, which talk. is to say she probably she may have been the youngest person driving on country roads but i tell you one thing about kids in the country they start driving early yeah real talk. they start driving early that's probably she's how driven she, before yeah, yeah yeah i'm sure she's got a cousin who literally drives goes to pick up someone and and the cousin's like thirteen, <laughs> and they probably got a parent who's like, "Hey, go get such and such from the store." And the kid's like, "All right, yeah, real and talk." Just goes out there, so pick up a pack of smokes while you're there too. Yeah, you, you can I mean? you can be surprised. I think the surprise is that she made it all the way to Target and didn't just drive to a friend's house. <laughs> I think that's where the shock is. Like, oh, you went to town? You drove to town? <laughs> And you didn't ask what we wanted? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this no, little girl. I hope she gets her one-bedroom apartment that she so desperately needs. <laughs> and her if- pet. I, that's why I hope that she... I Look, I, I see her. I feel her and I see her. It gets better. It gets Real better. Cool. I want her to know. <laughs> it gets better. You'll be out there soon enough. If you would like to donate, to our uh, GoFundMe to get a container home to this young lady, okay? I <laughs> know, put her in a tiny house. Real Come tall, a little tiny house, okay? She don't need them people. She don't need people. She just needs her own space. Give her, mm-hmm. We could buy her a car. Yeah. She already know how to drive. She owned up to the one accident she had. That's more than you can say. That's true. Y'all have hit a lot of things and kept it moving. <laughs> Real talk. Unless I seen it gives you a flat car. tire, you keep it moving. So, yep. <laughs> oh, you got this life subscribe to the show, baby? You were Apple, Spotify, listener. We appreciate your ratings. Four stars. You don't think she deserves it. Come on, B. She's so responsible. <laughs> okay? Five stars. Not only do you think she deserves it, you know she'll maintain it. Yeah. She's built for this. Yeah. She might be the kid. most responsible person in the house. Yeah, actually, I think, actually, she, I think she is. She, <laughs> she might be. Real talk. I wonder you know, if her parents had to be like, oh, no, she was at Target. And then when the cops were there, and then when the cops left, they were like, did you get what I asked for, you know? I want it noted, by the way, uh, nobody from Target reported her. Uh, She was shopping at Target, and they got her, Mm -hmm. but the report came from the driving. That's the only thing people were like, oh, that's wild. Yeah. But her shopping at Target, they they know her. They've seen her before. Okay. Nobody at Target found that weird. We need to work with the driving. Yeah, real talk. Okay. She, she get that down, she good. Yeah, we get her a nice little uh, pillow. We adjust the seat. We'll That's get her a little smart car. Just a little just a little thing. <laughs> One of them Fiats. Yeah, it'll be Yo, great. She'll be ready. Real yeah. talk, man. <laughs> if you have any articles you want us to cover, please DM us directly on Twitter or Instagram, at Silky Jumbo. Uh, shout out this week to Lori McDaniels and uh, Iron Fist Mom. Always appreciate y'all. Two of the vets, by the way. Always appreciate y'all. Yep. Sincerely. 
Um, with all that said, I am the uh, real talk excited to share the road with these eight-year-olds. <laughs> I mean, Martin. it can't be any worse than who's already out there. Real talk. She hitting less things than anybody I've seen on the streets. Yeah, okay? that's for sure. I'll take that all day, okay? <laughs> with driving instructor, Shalewa Shaw, okay? I may have the patience. <laughs> I may. You're already a teacher, okay? You work yeah, with, you but work that don't mean I have patience. That just means I go up. <laughs> Oh, man. This has been a uh, kid-friendly episode of The War Report. You know what I mean? <laughs> Catch y'all next time. <laughs> Peace.